we need to talk about Jack and Dexter. So Jack and Dexter is a beloved PlayStation IP. It has six games in the franchise and almost all of them were well received. Almost all of them, but for real. There's a reason why Jack and Daxter has remained in the hearts of PlayStation gamers. Even after its last release, and that was back in 2009, it's a classic PlayStation platforming series, right up there with Ratchet and Clank, Ape Escape, and Sly Cooper. Yes, the first game is more of a pure platformer, while 2 and 3 had more action elements, but the point still stands. PlayStation fans love this platformer from fan-favorite developer Naughty Dog. But like many classic PlayStation IP, it's been dead. I'll say something really teary at the funeral, like, How am I gonna get changed back now? That that all changed the yesterday with some shocking news. Unfortunately, it probably isn't what most Jack and Daxter fans had in mind, but this is the news and we gotta talk about it. So a very reliable insider on Twitter named My Time to Shine Hello dropped a bombshell last night. Tom Holland to play Jack. Chris Pratt, I had to voice Daxter in live action Jack and Daxter movie from Sony, directed by Ruben Fleischer, who's best known for Venom and Uncharted. And I bet the majority of Jack and Daxter fans pretty much reacted like this. What the fuck? There's no cheese? I feel like when you ask any Jack and Daxter fan what a Jack movie should be like, nine times out of 10, they would most likely say it should be an animated movie. And I was one of those people. You see, the people in Jack and Daxter aren't really humans, and they're more like elf-human hybrids. You can tell by their big and pointy ears, for one. Plus, the rest of the franchise is filled with a colorful and diverse cast of characters and creatures that just lends itself to animation very well. And an animated project would have been awesome. Especially in this new era with Sony Pictures animation, both Spider-Verse movies look incredible, and seeing Jack and Daxter get that treatment would have made the entire Jack fanbase happy. But unfortunately, that is not what we are getting here. PlayStation Productions has decided to make this a full-on live-action project, and while that is surprising, I wouldn't say it was too surprising, since we did get a hint of it last year. So back during the Uncharted press tour, this would have been in February of 2022, Director Ruben Fleischer was promoting the Uncharted movie, and he did a bunch of interviews, and during one interview he did mention he was working on a Jack and Daxter movie with Sony and PlayStation Productions. Quote, I'm actually working on Jack and Daxter, a version of that for PlayStation, which I think would be really cool to bring to life, Fleischer told Digital Trends in an interview promoting Uncharted. So around the same time, Tom Holland, who was also doing press for Uncharted, was talking about Jack and Daxter as well. Tom Holland was asked by GameSpot what game he would like to adapt into a movie, and Tom Holland did say Jack and Daxter. So clearly this has been in the works for a while now, and while it is not that surprising, it is still surprising. Like, come on, a live action Jack and Daxter movie? What? Tom Holland is now both our Nathan Drake and possibly going to be our Jack. Joel is already taken by Pedro Pascal, so the only Naughty Dog character left to be played by Tom Holland is Crash Bandicoot. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. So I like Tom Holland as an actor, and I actually really like his portrayal of a young Nathan Drake. He is one of the highlights of the Uncharted movie for me, but I have to be honest, I don't know how I feel about him being Jack. Not because he can't pull it off, but because he's already Nathan Drake. I wouldn't have expected PlayStation Productions to double dip with actors so soon, but you can't lie. Tom Holland is one of the biggest actors in the world right now, so I can see why they would want him in the role. He'll get people in the theaters, just like what he did with Uncharted. Chris Pratt as Daxter, I'm actually kind of fine with to be honest. Chris Pratt has done a ton of voice work in the past. He was Emmett in the Lego movie, Mario in this year's Super Mario movie, and is actually working with Sony and voicing Garfield in the upcoming animated Garfield movie. He also already worked with Tom Holland in the Pixar movie Onward. So there's a history with Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, and Sony all interwined together. It's like a Venn diagram, but uh, whatever. I have no idea where I'm going with that analogy. So will this movie actually be good? Well, it's way too early to tell. But I would argue that the future of the Jack and Daxter franchise is brighter than ever. You see, PlayStation and Sony love their synergy with their games and movies. When the Uncharted movie was coming out, they would give out free tickets to players who bought the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection on PlayStation 5. 
The Last of Us Part 1, a remake of the 2013 game on PS3, was released before the HBO show, which resulted in a huge success for both products. A twist and metal show happened, and it was awesome, but also a new game in the franchise is being worked on for PlayStation 5, according to some pretty credible rumors. And for Gran Turismo, the game menu is currently advertising the movie and also adding a car straight from the film. Also, the movie could be seen as a giant advertisement for the game, but luckily the movie was actually pretty damn good too. So you see where I'm going with this, right? Sony loves their synergy. And I think PlayStation Productions is the best chance for dormant Sony IP to come back. Look at Twisted Metal, for example. The franchise was dead since 2012, but with the success of the show, it reinvigorated interest in the IP. A season 2 is very likely, and the new game is coming to PS5. So after a decade of nothing, Twisted Metal is back and better than ever. And I'm hoping the same thing can happen for Jack and Daxter. The franchise has been dormant since 2009, and while fans might not want a live action movie per se, I think this movie can lead to a brand new game in the franchise. I know people want Naughty Dog to make a Jack 4, but what I think is more likely, and what I would like to see, is a straight up remake of the first game, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. I think that would be a perfect way to get new fans into the franchise. It's been since 2009 since we got anything from Jack and Daxter, so there's been a whole generation of people since then that have no modern exposure to that franchise. And yes, while the old games are playable on PS5 thanks to the PS2 classics, the unfortunate reality is that most modern gamers don't really like playing old games, which blows my mind since I love playing old games, but that's the harsh reality we live in. I think Sony would love to have the opportunity to slap that PS5 logo on the box art for a new Jack and Daxter game, let the casual gamers know that yes, this is made ground up for the PlayStation 5, so there's no like old game stink to it, which is unfortunate, but that, again, that's the reality we live in. But I think that would be a perfect way to get new fans into the franchise. Again, since 2009, we haven't gotten anything from the Jack and Daxter franchise. And Jack 1 is straight up just a great game. It's my personal favorite from the franchise. I just love the simplicity of the platforming. The world is so much fun to explore and collecting those precursor orbs are addicting. And if this remake is successful, it could lead to more remakes of like Jack 2, 3, Combat Racing, Daxter, and quite possibly a new game, Jack and Daxter 4. Yes, I intentionally left out Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier from that remake list. As for the plot of the movie, well, I assume it's going to be based on Jack 1. But the thing is, Jack is mute in the first game. He doesn't get a voice until Jack 2. So if they do decide to do Jack 1 as a movie, they might have to rework it so Tom Holland actually, you know, speaks and has dialogue throughout the movie. They could also just skip ahead and do Jack 2, but that would be kind of weird in my opinion. I feel like you'd need to, you know, address the first game before you start doing Jack 2 in movie form. But what do I know? I'm not a script writer, I'm not a film director, and I don't make video games. I just play them and make random videos on the internet. Let me know what you guys think about this Jack and Daxter movie. Jack and Daxter is getting new life, if this rumor is to be believed. I kind of believe it. This source is pretty reputable. But yeah, Jack and Daxter is coming back, and that's another PlayStation dormant IP getting revived which is awesome. I want to see PlayStation bring back more dead IP, you know, so like Resistance, Killzone, Sly Cooper, the list goes on, right? PlayStation All-Stars is my number one, but you know, that's a dream that's always going to be a dream. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Jack and Daxter movie. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or do you just care because you might get a new game in the franchise? Consider subscribing, give the video a like or a dislike, depending on how you felt about it. Uh, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, that's it for me. I'm Real Radic, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.